Okay, so this video um, is about how to create variables within Jump. So there are different ways of doing things in Jump. Um, if I want to create a variable, for example, I could come here. Actually, by the way, a variable in Jump is called a column, okay, which makes sense. Every variable is a column. But one of the ways of creating a variable is to say, new, uh, come here, uh, uh, calls, and then new column. The other thing I can do is uh, come to the list of variables on the left here, and then right-click. When I right-click, I can say new column, and it does the same thing. So I'm just going to right-click and say new column. When it says new column, I'm just going to call uh, uh, create a new variable. So just to make sure, what I want to do here is to take this variable called article year, uh, which has like uh, uh, the year of publication, so 1800 something, 1900 something, and create a categorical variable. A categorical variable that will say 1 when the year goes from 1840 until uh, 1880. It says 2 if it goes from 1880 uh, to 1920, so on and so forth. So I'm going to call this variable, uh, so here I'm, I'm applying column name, in article year category. Now, I put some underscore here. It doesn't necessarily need to be that way. Uh, you know, it's just a preference. And I'll click OK. Now, what happens, as you can see, is that this variable was created and uh, it's empty. Uh, in other words, all of these dots means that these are missing values. And it's at the very end of the, the, the variable. Now, very important. I just did something important here, um, which I want to mention. So what I didn't do was to uh, actually take the variable article year and uh, uh, change the values of the original va uh, variable. You usually do not want to change the variable, the values of any original variable. Instead of doing that, what you do is that you create a new variable and then you make the modifications there. Why? Because at some point you might need to use this variable, so always create a separate variable. But as you can see, article year is right here in the beginning and uh, our article year category uh, is at the end. I want to put them you know, side by side. So what I am going to do is to click on calls and then I'm going to say reorder columns. And then I am going to say, oh, wait a sec. Move selected. So for, yeah, so, okay. So first I select the variable, then columns, reorder columns, and then move selected columns. As you can see, I have selected the article year category. So I'm just going to click here. And then I'm going to say that I want this variable to be, or this column to be, right after article year, okay? So again, I selected this variable here, then I went to columns, uh, selected reorder, and then came over here, and I said after uh, article year, and then I click OK. Now, what you can see that happened here was that now I have... Uh, you can see here I have article year followed by article year category and same thing here, article year followed by article year category. Okay, so we got the two variables side by side. What I am going to do now is that I am going to, sell, I'm going to copy the content of this variable into this variable before I turn it into a category. So what I'm going to do is, first I just clicked on 1902, and then, this is important, I'm going to hold shift down and keep it down, and I'm going to push the arrow button down, okay? So what's happening now is that I am selecting the entire column, okay? So here you go, the entire column is selected. Next. I am going to copy this variable. So I could copy by coming over here and saying copy, or I can I could do control C. Now next I select, I go back to the top, and I select the first cell 
within the article year category and I just say edit uh, and paste oops didn't work so let's try it again so I come over here select and then I select the whole thing yeah. so basically here's what I did wrong the first time so the first time I did selection and everything was okay I copied uh, actually the second time I copied by doing control C C for copy but I couldn't have done the edit thing here but the first time I just clicked on the first cell the second time what I did was I clicked on the entire column and then I did edit and paste so don't do what I did the first time, just do what I did the second time. As you can see, you know, there's a lot of trial and error here. You know, it, it, this is not a perfect science. Okay, but it, it, we're still not done. What I need to do now is we have, uh, you know, the same variable copied, the exact same values, as you can see. But now I need to change this uh, variable into a categorical variable. So what I do is I right-click here. And I say, actually, I don't right click here. Uh, I go, oops, I go here. And then I right click here and I say recode. So I right clicked and I uh, uh, said recode. And now here you have this variable called article year category. Um, here's the uh, old value and here's the new value. What I am going to do is from 1840 until 1880, I'm going to recode this as 1. So I'm just clicking on 1 and then clicking the uh, arrow, down arrow button, uh, the arrow button down, okay? And I'm going to keep changing the values all the way until 1880, okay? When I get to 1881, I'm going to replace this with 2. So I'm going to do from 18 until 1820. 1821 uh, I'm gonna do 3 until 1960 so let me just push this a little bit now so this is 3 and then from 60 on I'm gonna do 4 okay so basically, this is how you recode a variable, and I'm just going to say OK. OK? So basically, now I have the exact same variable. The only difference is that <coughs> um, this one has the original year. This one has the year uh, in terms of categories.